This will be a pretty short live stream, as I will be showing you how to get all of the armor, all of the mob heads, all of the music discs, and even a way out in the battle minigames lobby. Um, so, that's a thing. <laughs> It'd be pretty short, so if you catch it, you're lucky. But it will be posted on YouTube later on, of course, because it's a live stream to YouTube. So just give me a second while I pull it up on my iPad so I can view it in monitor chat. So let me, I think I'll add it to my Minecraft minigames playlist. There we go. Okay. Alright. So let's get right into it. So I'm just going to start off by opening some of the areas that you'll need to use to get to some of this stuff. So first we'll start by doing this over here. So you go over here to this lever, pull that lever, and we'll open up, and then this is an area where we'll find one, one, a piece of, one set of armor and a, a music disc, which is right here. But you will see there is a water bucket in a in an item frame, tilted like that. So what you want to do is go up here, the door of course, go up here, around to the table, and you will see a water bucket mounted on the ceiling. You just tilt it the same way it was before. You want to go down here, and it will open the door on the opposite side, this one right here. You want to go down, turn the lever to make sure the water turns off. That will deactivate the fountain in the center, and then you can pull the lever just like that. Then you want to you can just hop down here real quick and throw this lever. That will open the way into the Nether, but we don't want to go in there right now because it's not a way back out to come back out. But there is stuff in there, of course. And then the way out of here is this door where the creeper head used to be up through here and the piece that is and then boom you're out. Next we'll just head over real quick to here to open the bookshelves to expose the uh the ore blocks like the diamond or you know, whatever. So first one you wanna go into here into the shelf room. I don't really know what this is supposed to be. So you flip that lever, that will expose the diamond block. Next one you want to go out here to where it hits at the below area and there's a button right here. You want to flip that. Next one is upstairs. Right there. And this next one you will need either a friend or another item. But since I don't have a friend with me right now, I'm going to grab a fishing rod, just to make life easy. So, you want to head up here, back into the same building. One of, one of you, or you, will stand on this pressure plate, and then your friend or the item you're using, you'll throw onto this pressure plate. And then, once one, then once one of you steps off the pressure plate. This will open first one's first one's pretty easy. I'm gonna go with a Mlohi purple di purple disc. Just open this chest. All you really need to do is grab five items, throw them in this chest so they light up all of these lamps right here. Oops. I'll turn it back to how it's supposed to be. So just throw them in here. It sucks them away, activates that and throws you the disc. And I'll just store all the discs right here. Next, next two. You want to go over here, step on the pressure plate. There's a little chest that's appeared. You pull out the music disc. Next one, right here, probably the most exposed. Click on the button, and it'll throw you that. So 
So there's 3 out of 12. Next one, because I always forget this one, I don't know why. But next one, you want to head up here. And go down into the same room you were at before. To find the hint at the water bucket. I got stuck in the collar there for a second. You want to pull out this music disc. 11. The really creepy one. What a fitting room for it too. <laughs> just want to come down here. I'm just storing them in this chest just to make it easier. So there's 4 out of 12. Next. You want to head over here. And there will be a disc right in there. I guess while we're here, we'll just pull this lever to make it easier to get in and out of the nether area. But we're not going to go in there right now because there's no music discs down there. So moving on, you want to head over to the opposite tower. And you just throw open the door over here, which will expose this. Ooh, I got some chat going on. KH says hi. Hello, KH. So, next, you want to head over here into this underwater area, and you can see the chest over here. And if you open this chest, you will find the music disc called. Where are we now? Which is actually a pretty uh, suiting title for a place like this. K oh, KH says, what are you doing? KH, I am showing you all of the uh, secrets in the Battle Minigames lobby. So next, what you want to do is head up here. And there will be another music disc right here. Moving on, if you're not good at parkour, this part might annoy you. So, <laughs> all I have to do for this is, the rest of them are pretty much just on, up on the roofs. Just head over here, open this. This is kind of sneaky, but you get chirp. Next, you just parkour over here. Just jump. And so there's 8 out of 12. You just want to jump over here. And the next one will, of course, be right over here. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, that's fantastic. Rip. Hmm. All right, hold on. Oopsies. So we'll just head back up. Just want to get back onto the roofs, of course. You wouldn't have to do this if you haven't fallen off like me. <laughs> Just grab right here and you will find blocks. So, two more. Where could they be? Just want to kind of do a zigzag jumping pattern up this, up this uh, awning right here. Slowly walk down, make sure you don't fall off. Just like that. <laughs> While I'm here, there is a cat is over here. So I'm going to grab that real quick. You can just hop right back out here. Where is the I think this is the last one right here. I think. Oh, it's not. Could it be? Honestly, I've forgotten. Hmm. 
Let me think, guys. I think I'm actually just missing one on the roof somewhere. Hold on just a second, guys. Let me look this up real quick. I'm not actually sure. Wait, guys, I'll be right back. Hold on, just give me a second. I'm very sorry. Just give me, just, just give me a minute. Wait, actually, do we have them all? I think I'm missing one, but let me see. Oh yeah, I am missing one. But I apologize, guys. I'll have to leave you for a second. I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, I am very sorry about that, but luckily enough, I remembered where the last disc was. So all you have to do is just go down here and start doing the parkour. Like, remember the old parkour to get up to the fireworks? All you really have to do is just start doing that, and it's, like, right there. So just hop over here, go up here, and it's right in here. You can actually still go behind here, but there's nothing. It's just caved out, but... I wonder what happened here. Maybe explosions? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. This is... It's the last music disc. And for adventure's sake, we'll go out through the nether. Now that chest right there holds a mob head, but we'll get to that in a second. So just help right through here. And then boom, there we go. All twelve music discs found. Moving on, we'll head over we'll head on to the armor. We'll go from least val least valuable to most valuable. So we'll so we'll start with the leather armor. You just head right up into here up this ladder and it's right here. There we go. Now just to make it easier on ourselves, we'll just throw all the armor we find in this chest right here. 
just make it easier. So there's leather armor found. Next one, you want to head up into here. And go down to the area where we found the, that one music disc and the water water bucket hint, and you want to jump right up, right in here. And you see now we're wearing white armor with a pumpkin head. So let's go throw that in our chest, and we'll move on to the golden iron. like that. Moving on to the golden iron, you want to go over here, and you'll go into this building and you will see two sets of armor, gold and iron, behind these behind these glass panes. You want to make them drop down over here. So let's do gold first. The gold is pretty easy. All you have to do is just go up here and spot this little button. That drops it down, and you will see if you remember this room over here, it opens up the little gate to the gold armor. So now we're wearing our gold armor. We'll just grab our iron armor next, so we don't have to go back to that chest. All I had to do with the iron armor is just see this little button right here. As you see, that dropped down the iron armor. We'll go over here and get our iron armor. There we go. Oh, hold on a second, guys. Just give me one quick second. I gotta pull the stream back up. I may or may not have forgotten to do that. Okay, there we go. So, we'll head back down to our little storage chest where that music just used to be. Take off our armor. Throw it in there. Boom. And... That's all the armor you can get right now. You, of course, you get the diamond set up there. So, but we'll get that at the end. So next, we'll move on to the mob heads. For one of the mob heads, actually two of them, you will need a bow and arrow. So, for the first one, just head up here into this room. Now, if you remember, we unlocked the bookshelves. You want to press the buttons in there to order. So iron, gold, emerald, diamond. Just remember that. Iron, gold, emerald, diamond. Iron, gold, emerald, diamond. It'll open up the floor and expose this chest. What you could just do is just spam them really fast, and it will open too, but just for adventure's sake. Next one, we'll move over here. Let me pull up chat real quick. Okay, so next one you want to go over here, you want to turn the diamond sword. There are, the swords are hidden around the map. But I just know where they are, and I'm, I'm not sure where they're hidden exactly, I just know they are, but I know how to move them. So just move that one like that, leave the gold one as is, turn the diamonds facing the other way, just like that. It'll open up, you can get your Steve head. Next one, we'll get the skeleton head. So all you have to do for that, the skeleton head is probably the easiest, I'd say. Well, no, actually the wither skeleton is, I'd probably say. I'm not sure. Depends on what you define as easy. This is pretty much the same as before, with a couple of ch heads in the old lobby. You just shoot a button. For some reason, this button just does not want to go off. Uh-oh. Don't tell me it fell into the... Oh, wow, that was close. Okay. Next one will go the wither skeleton skull. This one, all you have to do is just... Head down into the nether area thing. And head up here to this chest right here. Of course you could go up. You could go into the other area. So actually there's, there's a little secret kind of a dealio spot over here. 
you could walk down there and trap yourself if you wanted to. But I think they're gonna patch that eventually though. So just head up here. And then just like that we're out. You could gone you could have gone down and get the will of skeleton skull this way too. But next one is the creeper head. It's probably the most complicated, but it's still pretty easy if you know how to do it right. So this next one you will need either a friend or another item. For this instance, I'm just gonna use another item because of course I do not have a friend with me. So just throw an item or have your friend stand on that pressure plate. You wanna jump down here. And go around over here just like this. And just do the same thing. Head up these spiral stone slab stairs. And it will throw you right into the hallway. You want to take out your other item, or yourself, or your friend, doesn't really matter. As long as push is pushed on, and do that. If you hear fireworks, just like that, you know you did it right. So, if you want to claim your head, that sounds kind of weird. If you want to claim the creeper head, you just go over here. And there will be a little secret area that opened up right here. Let's keep your head. And now you might be thinking, MJ, I know there's a, an Ender Dragon head somewhere. How do I get that? So it's pretty easy. All you have to do is jump down here. And right here, you will see the heads mounted on some redstone lamps. This part's actually kind of cool, because if you throw in the appropriate head, it lights up the thing that the head's standing on. So let's do the same thing with the Steve head. As you see, it lights up the Steve head, which is so cool. I should say that's awesome. I'm good at threadstone, but I can't do anything like this. And then boom. If you do that, they'll open up these two doors right here. And inside is, of course, the Ender Dragon head. The only one, I believe. I think there's only one in there. Yep. There's only one. So there you, there you have it. They're your heads. And now... Have we done the armor? I think we done the armor already. Yeah, we did the armor. So let me just head back up here. And there you have it, but we're not done yet. So I have my other controller here, because in order to get out of the map and to get the diamond armor, you will of course need, you will have to get uh, a friend to play with you because you need to be able to be up there, which is the winning platform spawn. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to sign to another controller. Just like this. And then I'm going to put, just like that. Oh my gosh. Just I apologize about the echo. So I'm just going to click ready, just like that. And then have my brothers... So I'm just going to... Let the round win, and then sign out on this other controller. Just like that. So now, I will have won and spawned up onto the other platform. What? Uh... Hmm. I guess... I guess you don't spawn up there if you forfeit. So actually... Crap, hold on. Let's try this again, shall we? Okay. Let's try this again. Now I'll just kill my brother. This is my brother's account. I'll just kill my brother. My character, or have him commit suicide or something. And then... That will, I will have legitimately won. Well, the game will think I have legitimately won. So let me do this real quick. So if you hear some commotion in the background, my sister, my sister babysits, and her kids just came over. So let me just kill this right here. So that way I. That way the game thinks I will have legitimately won, I will spawn up on the winner's platform.
there you go. As you can see, the game thinks I've legitimately won. So now I've spawned up here. You can just go in here and claim your diamond armor if you want it. And next, you're probably really interested on how to get out of the map. Want to go up here? Grab your grab your Elytra. So let's just hop down here and throw the diamond armor in the chest just to get rid of it. Huh. Oh, that's right, it resets each time. So you just throw on your Elytra and see, you just head over here, hit up one of the towers. get onto the ruse. Like so. Hit over here. Just parkour till you find the right spot. We go and just hop up in the same zigzag pattern as before. It's right over here. It's a little tricky, but it is doable. I think it's over here. Somewhere. I'm not sure. Hmm. I know it's over here somewhere. I'm not quite sure where, though. Hmm. Maybe it wasn't here. I could have sworn it was. Well, I guess not. It w I thought it was right here. Hold on. Kevin. Oh. I'm sorry about this, guys. Just give me a quick second. I wasn't talking to you. Gavin, be quiet. Oh, wait a second. I was in the right spot. But they patched it. Oh, yeah. This was the right spot, but they patched it. I'm sorry, I didn't know the patch came already. But yeah, you could actually just fly down there. Just like that. And there was a hole where this brick used to be. But I apologize about that. Um, but anyway, thank you for watching the stream. I very much appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.